This video demonstrates a memory leak. We have a program on the right that has a pointer to an integer, an integer pointer called newint, and we're using a function that will output the current memory usage. So we call this function a few times. We call this at the beginning. We call this after creating 100,000 integers using newint. Then we output the memory usage. And towards the end of the program, we delete newint, uh, deallocate the memory, and we once again output the memory usage. We have a do while loop that will keep on looping as long as we do not press Q. So let's take a look at the program. So the starting memory is 2,912 kilobytes. After creating 100,000 ints, we have 4,364 kilobytes. Creating another 100,000, and memory has increased by 1,600 kilobytes. Another time, memory increases another 1,600. And as we keep on going, memory just keeps on increasing by about 1,600. When I quit, what should happen is we deallocate the memory and we get the resulting memory. We can see that the deallocation of new int did not result in the ending memory reducing back to the original that was about 2,900. So this program has a memory leak. And we can see that because we keep on increasing the memory usage even though we're not actually able to access that memory. And so the culprit of this is in this for loop. In this for loop we create an int, so we allocate memory for a new integer, and then we do something with that integer, perhaps get a random number and store it in that integer temporarily. But the problem is, is at the next loop, we allocate new memory, and our pointer new int points to that new memory, but the previous memory is not being pointed to anymore, so we have no way of going back and accessing that memory. And every loop, we create new memory, and that previous memory is no longer pointed to. And that's where the memory leak occurs. And so what I will do is I'll move this line of code where we delete or deallocate the memory pointed to by new int. I'm going to move that after we've used new int. And now let's take a look at the program. Compile and execute. Started with 2912 KB. And even after creating 100,000 ints, we still have 2912. Let's run this a few times. So the memory is stabilized at 2916 and no longer no matter how long I sit here it continues to stay at 2916 how about when we exit the program there we go it remains at 2916 so we've plugged the leak in memory thank you